Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> Actually, I've been back, but I didn't really go anywhere. Um, I just haven't put out any videos. Like literally, it's been, it's been a week. Maybe it's been a week. It's probably been a, while, a lot longer since I did a video diary, but <clears throat> I think it's been, it's been about a week since I filmed a video, like a fun one. I mean, my client readings are fun, but like a, a you know, <clears throat> since I filmed anything else. Um, but I'm here and I'm doing good. <laughs> so I thought I would come on and talk about books um, and also <clears throat> update you guys on the deck. So remember when I talked about my vampire tarot? So I had bought the vampire tarot. It's the out of print vampire tarot. <laughs> And I had talked about wanting to deck mod it. And so I actually did it, you guys. I cut the borders. It had gigantic white borders and it was a square cut deck. It wasn't rounded. And I cut the borders off and I rounded the edges. So they're completely round. And I used the bigger one, so that's why they're like bigger. I like it. It's smaller. It's still pretty it's still pretty big in my opinion <laughs> but um, I don't know I, I think it's so cute and I like the way the backs came out so um, I'm not done though I still want to edge the these in red I want to do it red so I bought a, a red sharpie it's somewhere around here and so I want to do that to kind of get this pop of red here um, and have it on the sides so it'll be red and it'll be done I actually pulled this deck out today when I was doing client reading so it debuted 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 it debuted debuted in, in my um, one of my client readings earlier today so yeah so that was cool um so we are officially in the month of November you guys how was your October? Did you guys have any spooky encounters? Any paranormal in, in any paranormal encounters or anything? Um, I have to say for my October, I had a lot of spirit encounters with my brother. He came through so many different times. Um, and what else? I oh, so last night, because Halloween was literally last night. So Halloween, I had to work. I was at work all day and I got off work at seven. And on my drive home, I have an hour drive. So on my drive home, I put on a ghost stories podcast and I literally listened to spooky, every like average people, spooky stories while I was driving home at night up the hill. So it's a scary drive at night because huh? <laughs> you're driving through literally the mountains um and so it's really really dark on the freeway and at night it's just so pitch black right there because it's like away from the city and all that stuff so like you're making your way up into the desert so it's just pitch black it's gorgeous but it's scary and so you literally don't see anything like in the daytime you'll see the you know the mountain sides and all of that but <laughs> at night it's just like black, literally. You'll Maybe you'll see the outline, like the shadow of the mountains. Other than that, it's just like you're driving. You just see all of like the headlights from the oncoming traffic and then you see like all of the, you know, the backlights of the cars and then it's just black. Like you're driving into blackness. So I love it. It's spooky and it created a spooky setting for my ghost story podcast. So I was totally listening to that and freaking myself out, <laughs> but it was fun. So it made for a spooky Halloween drive home. And then I was just, I was a bad girl last night. I bought, um, I bought Panda Express. So like I was craving something salty. <laughs> so I got Panda Express and I literally just sat on the couch and indulged in Outlander like I started the season three so I watched seasons one and two on my Netflix and then of course Netflix doesn't have three and four so I waited and I waited and I was like I'm just gonna buy the stars app like I'm just gonna join the monthly thing for the stars app 
And so I downloaded the Stars app the week that I was watching my mom's dogs. Um, I downloaded the app and it was a free week and then you pay like $8 for the month or whatever. So that whole week that I was at my mom's house, I was like literally watching Outlander and also catching up on, um, on um, Yellowstone. So I was just indulging in all this goodness. <laughs> So I finished season three of Outlander and I'm right now I'm in season four and I think I'm on episode nine, nine right now. So I have like have four episodes left. I'm so sad. I'll probably finish them tonight because I'm just obsessed with the whole show. Um, but it's so good. So, <laughs> so after I finish that, I'll just be just like everybody else waiting for season five. Um, and then I'll have to find something else to be obsessed with. So the stars app has a lot of pretty cool shows. Um, and then I haven't really used Netflix in a while, so I got to see what's on Netflix. So yeah, so that's my life. <laughs> um, what else? Any other updates? Um, other than that, let's see. So my husband, he's working and he's enjoying his job. Um, we're doing really well. Both of us, we're going to be hosting Thanksgiving here at our house because he has Thanksgiving off, which we were so surprised, but, um, because he's, so like right now he's in like training mode at work. So he has to be like, um, partnered up with, you know, one of the other officers. And it just so happens that his officer that he has is a senior and which means he has seniority in the department. And so that means, um, he has a better schedule. <laughs> So his schedule becomes my husband's schedule during his, you know, training time. And so it just landed perfectly that he's has Thanksgiving off. So now that we know he's going to be off for Thanksgiving, I told him, I guess we won't be order. I won't be ordering pizza on Thanksgiving because I wasn't going to cook. <laughs> um, and so um, now we're going to do a potluck thing and we're going to have like, his parents and his brother and sister come over and then I invited my parents so we'll see if they want to come up and just have Thanksgiving here at our house so that's what we're doing um he's doing good he's enjoying his job um I am doing I'm enjoying work um I'm still driving obviously still commuting but it's okay um what else oh TCM so everything's good with TCM I think my fall theme readings were a hit. A lot of you guys booked readings. I still have quite a few orders to get through. I have like, I think I have four seance readings to do. Um, so I'm gonna be busting those out. <laughs> I did four readings today. Um, and then I'm gonna put, bust out some more. Sunday, I hope to bust out at least one or two, but my husband, and he, that's his day off. So my husband and I have plans to go to the movies and just like, no, just be, spend time with me and him because I work tomorrow and he's off tomorrow. So, um, so I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to kick out readings on Sunday or not. That might just be my day with him. Um, but if not, then I'll be kicking out readings on Monday and then, um, I work and then I have a four. Hi, Starla. Starla. Um, and then I have a four day weekend. So, the readings will get done, <laughs> but it's just taking a little bit longer because um, I was fortunate you guys ordered readings. You guys booked a lot, so <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, I'm really happy and I'm just very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy, you guys. Like, I feel good. So enough about that. Um, those are, I guess that's, that's all the updates I have. I don't think there's really anything else to talk about. I have chocolate. <laughs> Um, so I went to Michael's today and, um, I, so, okay. So you guys know I do my wreaths, right? Like my Halloween wreath was a hit. Um, I made one for my mom. I made a Christmas one for my mom. I'm currently working on a Christmas one for my house. And then now that we're going to be hosting Thanksgiving here at our house, I was like, I have to have a fall wreath, but of course all of the fall decor is like gone. <laughs> so I still have some like leaves and stuff left over from, um, from a wreath that I was going to make for my mom, but it didn't work out. So, um, I went to the Dollar Tree. I picked up, Hey, hey, hey are you okay? Starla. She looks like she's going to cough up a hairball. You okay? Are you okay? Let it out. 
Anyways, um, so I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some stuff. I got, I was able to find one scarecrow, <laughs> one little scarecrow. And then um, I picked up some other like random stuff to put on my wreath. And, um, and then I went to Michael's because Dollar Tree only has like the smaller bundles of mesh that I use for my wreaths. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Michael's, spend a little bit more money and get the big bundles. Um, and so that's what I did. And I bought, they had like burlap mesh. It was really, it's really cute. And then they had like this goldish color. And I still have some leftover orange from my Halloween wreath. And then I have some white too. So I'm thinking I can like put in a pop of white and orange in there. But for the most part, it's gonna be burlap and like this goldish color, so it's gonna be really pretty. And um, so I'm gonna do my fall wreath and have it on, up on the door, so I gotta work on that too. That's, I, I've been like, literally you guys, ugh, Starla, literally my wreaths, like making them has become a hobby. Like it's my, I need to like decompress, not think about life, turn on some music and just do my wreath. It's really relaxing for me. And my husband's been encourage, encouraging me to make a lot of them. He's like, make a lot of them and sell them. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe one day when I'm not, when I'm no longer working, but I have too much on my plate to, woo, did your stomach hurt? She just ate wet food, so I just grabbed her by her belly and I could hear, she's gassy. You okay? <laughs> Oh my God, this cat. <laughs> she like, she farts and she's just, she's so different. Um, okay, so anyways, so the wreath making has been a hobby. My husband wants me to sell them and I'm just like, I'm not ready for that yet. Maybe once I'm not working anymore, it'll be like a second project that I do aside from my readings, but I love tarot reading too much to give that up. So I, I ain't doing that. <laughs> anyways, so anyways, so. I think that's about it for my update. But anyway, I was at so I was at Michael's and I'm craving chocolate. I'm on my I'm on my period. I don't care. You guys didn't want to hear it. Sorry. I'm on my period. Go. And um, I'm craving chocolate. So I'm craving like the specific chocolate. Like I'm specifically craving the truffles, the milk chocolate ones. And my husband promised me we would go to Costco so I could buy like the bigger bag because it's just. It makes more sense to buy the bigger bag for cheaper than buying the little bag, which is, this was $6. This was $6. And there's probably only six pieces in here. I don't even know if it says how many pieces are in here. There's 12 balls in here. 12 for $6. And so I was like, I was just like, that, that's just ridiculous. Like you could go to Costco and I think it's like 14 bucks and you get like triple the size. So anyways, anyways, um, <laughs> I was specifically craving chocolate. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. I want it. Um, and so I have chocolates to eat tonight while I'm watching Outlander. Cause literally you guys, like I cry my eyes out watching that freaking show. <laughs> oh my God. So anyways, <laughs> um, so that's it for the updates. I, I think that was 13 minutes of updates. I think that's enough. Um, so books. Um, okay, as you guys know, I think the last time I talked to you guys about books, I was reading it. I started it. I got like into a hundred and something pages. It's like a thousand pages. Like it's a big ass book. It's it's actually on the couch, but I didn't I didn't grab it. Um, I've since gave up on it for now. Like I I intend to read it, but I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, it's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a big book. And there were so many other books that were catching my attention. And a couple, like one book came on hold for me that I really, really, really want to read. And I think it's just, I was so burned out from like Pet Cemetery and like the Stephen King rush that I was on <laughs> that I just decided uh, no more. <laughs> no more for now. Um, I, I need something different. So, I got, let's start with the books, my library books. Um, so, the book that came on hold that I really want to read is called The Liar's Daughter. The Liar's Daughter by Megan Cooley Peterson. It's about, I think it's about a girl who, um, a girl who, was, who grew up in a cult. 
um, her, her parents were in like this religious cult and she gets out of it. And so I just lost my bookmark. Um, and so it's like about her story and whatnot. I freaking, I don't know what it is about the cult thing, but that's what I'm feeling right now. So I have a second book that I'm going to read. That's the same genre. Um, Hey, Starla. No, she's biting at my scarecrow. The cult thing is just like, sometimes I get into that. Like I like to read that stuff. So I'm going to read The Liar's Daughter. I started it already. Um, so that was the book that <laughs> it came in on hold for me at work. And I was like, oh, it is probably going to take me a whole year to get finished this book. Like I read slow. And so, <laughs> and so I'm like, I need, I need something else in my life. So that's, that was, this was the book that switched it up for me. The second book I bought, I bought, the second book I checked out from my library, um, is called, I'm trying to cover the little barcode with my with the library on it, <laughs> is called The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly. Um, and this one is also about a cult. So it looks really cool. The cover looks really cool too. Just looking at it. Um, so I'm thinking these two books are gonna be really fun to read and I look forward to diving into that. So I like that. I like cult fiction, like religious cults and like all that creepy stuff. And then the other book that came in on hold for me at my work is called, um, it's called Initiated and it's the uh, memoir of a witch. So it's, it's Amanda Yates Garcia's memoir about her witch, witch, witchery, being a witch, growing up a witch, blah, 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 blah. So this one looks really cool. I started reading it. It kind of jumps around though. Like she doesn't write linear, like she writes all over the place. So she's like, she started off when she was a little girl and then she goes off on a tangent over here and then she comes back to her as a little girl, as a witch, and then she comes over here. And so it's like, it's kind of hard to follow and that can be a little bit annoying in my opinion, but um, I'm into it. So totally reading initiated. Um, so that's a nonfiction read. Cause I, I, like I, I think I've told you guys before when I read fiction, I like to read nonfiction on the side. So I, I, I read two books at the same time. So that's what I've been doing. I've been reading initiated and then I started the cult book. <laughs> The other nonfiction read is a book I actually bought at Barnes & Noble. It's Tess Holliday's book. It's called Fat Girl, The Not-So-Subtle Art of Being a Fat Girl. Um, I like Tess Holliday. Um, I think she could be problematic at times with things she says, but for the most part, like, I like her personality. Um, I like I like her. I think she's she's fun. I think she's funny. Um, and so I was really interested when I saw she had talked about her book, and I was like, oh, I think I'm down to read something like that. So it's plus size positivity. Obviously, it's all about learning to love yourself, loving your body, and um, I don't know. I'm into it. Like I can't wait to dive in. So I like to read like spiritual nonfiction stuff and then I also like to read like plus size positivity like there's some there's some really good books out there um that I think you guys should read like if you're into that stuff they're really good they're they're they just make you feel good about your body good about yourself and being plus size and all of that like it's just nice to read to read about somebody or a content content about stuff that you know you can relate to <laughs> So yeah, so I'm going to dive into Tess's book also. Um, and then I just got some fun library books the other day, yesterday on Halloween because I just, I love these like old enchanted world books. So I found, um, when I was a little girl, <laughs> they have, there's the enchanted world of, um, uh, uh, what is it? Sirens? I think it's Sirens. I don't think it's called Mermaids. I think it's Sirens and it's a green book. I actually found one at a used bookstore and then like shortly after I found another copy. So I have two copies of that book, but basically when I was a little girl, it was the one book that I would check out all the time at the library. And so when I found it at the used bookstore, I was so excited, I, I bought it. My husband was like, what is that? And I'm like, this was the book that I always had to check out at the library. And so now I own two copies. So anyways, The Enchanted World is like a series of these like gigantic, just fairy tale looking books. Um, so it's a whole series that, you know, the libraries usually carry. 
And so I checked out the Tales of Terror because I wanted like something spooky to read, like little short stories and like little just, you know, tales of like scary stories. And then the thing about these books is that they have a lot of big pictures. So I don't know. I'm just like, it brings out the little kid in me. <laughs> so I like to look through these. So these are going to be creepy. Um, and then I also checked out the wizards and witches because why not? Right? Wizards and witches. So I don't know, just something to look at, look through. Look at that scary devil. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then what else? I just, sometimes I like to just go through the book just to look at the pictures. I don't know, like the artwork is just really cool. So if you guys have these Enchanted World books in your library, um, there's so many. There's like dragons, there's the sirens, they have um, the witches, ghosts, they have vampires. Um, I think they have like mythical creatures, like unicorns and stuff like that. <clears throat> but there's a bunch of them. There's like a whole plethora of them. <laughs> but yeah, so I checked those out because it was just like the little kid in me yesterday. I was just like, oh, let me, what, what other spooky books can I check out today? So yeah, so that's what I'm currently reading right now. Um, like I said, I read slow. It takes me a while to get through a book, but I usually finish it, usually. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and film, just film a whatever video. <laughs> um, sorry, you guys, for not being around as much. It was weird because it was like I got through literally 30 days of filming a video every day, and then now I'm like back to like not filming again so it's kind of weird how like how I was able to maintain the video diary where I was filming every day and then now it's like sparingly so I'm gonna do my best to try to like put more videos and more content out there um and see like just what comes to mind like stuff that I can think of but for now I think this will do so <laughs> you got a little bit of a dose of, of me today you guys I don't even know if any of you really even care, but <laughs> one of you commented, you were like, where, where are you? So at least you'll be happy. Um, it's 5.30. I think I'm going to go ahead and start preparing dinner. I'm going to make spaghetti tonight um, and then just sit down. I literally like, I, I did four client readings and like, I know like four readings doesn't sound like a lot, but when the readings are like, 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes each, it's exhausting. So that's like two hours of reading tarot. Um, and when you're connecting and you're just like dealing with channeling and like reading the cards, it's exhausting. Two hours is a lot. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna finish uploading the videos and then um, do dinner. And I think I'm just going to chillax on the couch, watch some more of my favorite show, Outlander. <laughs> eat some chocolates and wait for my husband to get home. So have a good night, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye, loves.